Wow, it's been so long, Dose family, but welcome back to The Dose Show. I'm Dr. Robin B, and today I have with me Camper. <laughs> He's an amazing, talented singer, songwriter, producer, you name it, he is it. <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about his journey um, as a musician and how he changed the game with his music. So what's been up? You know, just getting high, staying low. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, life's all all about balance right now. So yeah, that's just where I'm at. You know, just keeping God at the at the center focus and the head of my life, and you know, just letting everything do what it do what it's yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. doing well. And so tell the people who you are, so they know yeah, background. Who those that don't know, I'm just a child of God. I'm just a friend to the. You know, like the friends, and you know, I'm just a good person. You know, I'm a good man. Um, uh, I do music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a producer. I'm an artist. I write songs. I sing songs. But you know, my heart's in the right place. So you know, that's that's all that matters. See, do you guys see the humble, like this this <laughs> humble being? You have worked with the hottest <laughs> names in the game. I mean, from Brandy, yeah. Mary J. Blige. Her, mm -hmm. Jay Z, Big Sean, Tamar Braxton, <laughs> and I'm missing Jesse. Oh, like what? <laughs> you did your homework. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is my guy. Like how? And you're only 30 years old. Yeah, my birthday's in a couple of weeks too. Really? Yeah, wow. What's yeah. your sign? I'm a Gemini. We the best. Sign. Oh, I love Gemini. Yeah, I'm a Libra. It's like I a hundred of us. <laughs> what would you say is the key to your success? Um, God. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, just having that balance and just and just understanding where you came from and like never get too too big to understand that. Mm -hmm. You start you start doing that, you start losing your way, you start losing your way, you lost. Yeah. So, you know, I'm you know, I'm always grounded in that and you know, without God I'm nothing. And you know, it got me to this this point, you know, got me here with you. Yeah. Speaking of God, you started in the church, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In the praise team, you mm -hmm. know, doing piano, right? Yeah, like like, like in bands and all of that, playing band. at different like churches and you know, just the whole musicianship of it all. Like, you know, cause I, play, I played in church all my life. You know what I mean, playing since I was six and then I started playing in church, like for real, like eight, nine, wow. you know what I mean? So yeah, I've been in church all my life, you know. So how was that transition from gospel to mainstream? Um, you know, at, at, in, the, in the beginning it was it was tough because, you know, like you know, you got your got your bishops and your pastors and your and your people, and they telling you what you can't play, what you can play, and things like that. Like I got I got in trouble playing a DMX song, like, rest in peace. But it's like you how you get in trouble? You? Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what I was playing, but you know it was something, you know. Yeah. But it's like, come on, man. It's like I'm just trying to express my gift, and you know, it's deeper than gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's deeper than R&B. It's deeper than all of that. Yeah. You know, it's me just being able to touch touch the world. You know, just touching one person at a time. You know, I'm completing my mission. Yeah. Thank God for the opportunity. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I think like starting that way, you know, it, it groomed you to be who you are today because you still have God as a foundation. Mm -hmm. Even though you didn't go the gospel route, yeah. you still, you know, yeah. are preaching the word in a way, right, you know, exactly. spreading the message. Yeah, 100%. And so how, like, is it, is it mainly like word of mouth? What gets your name around where people want to work with you or is it your work that speaks for you? Yeah, yourself? definitely like word of mouth and people letting people, other people know what's going on yeah. and all of that. And it's like, all right, cool. Your name got you here. So now what you going to do when you get here? Yep. You got to provide, you got to deliver. Yeah. So, you know, it's like a, it's a two part, two part thing to that. Yeah. Now for hot topics. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. You in the hot seat. If it gets hot, you can take off your jacket. Take off my jacket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> take off the shades, get comfortable person. Yes, yes. Come on, talk to me. Have you ever had to turn an artist down that wanted to work with you because they didn't fit your brand or style? You don't have to say nay. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out that ever happened to me. I've been blessed to, to have people that wanted to work with me that I wanted to work with, you know mm, what I'm saying? So part. it's like, it was never like a problem where like, you know, I wasn't really messing with you or your message or anything because you know, like, I wanted to work with you. Now, it was some other people that, you know, like, 
um, previous like management and mm -hmm. like people trying to get me in with these people like you know and they they wanted to start sessions at like midnight they mm. wanted to start at midnight I'm like man what at midnight I'm on my third dream yeah like, I'm trying to be in bed by nine but ten. see we think that you guys do that all the time yeah 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 exactly I mean like our sessions might go into the night it right. might go past midnight it might go into the next morning I mean I've been in incredible uh, sessions where that has happened mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but it's like I've never been I've never been anywhere where you know I didn't really want to be at yeah like, you know I, I pick and choose where I want to you know who I want to work with and things like that but like yeah I never really had I never turn. really had to turn down like that you know because I wasn't messing with their style yeah you're like just just pick another time yeah. bro and if I don't like you then I'll just like I just send you some beats, like you know. Huh? Right. Just take, take some See? beats. You know I send you some beats, and I'm still trying to get some money with you. Like, cool. Uh. All right. So another hot question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite artist to work with? One. <laughs> uh. Top three. Top three. Top three. And this is not. And this, and this is not. It's definitely more, but mm -hmm. top three for sure. Drake. Brandy. And her. Yes. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, I, I love Kanye too. And he's my favorite producer. You so. work with Kanye yeah. too? Yeah, a lot. That's my brother. It's my big brother. Love Jeez. you. Jeez, that's so, crazy. But yeah, man, I, was not, I was on a whole different level. I was like, he was flying to Hawaii all the time. Like, he was like, we were out. We were out going crazy. I mean, even Paris, played ball in Paris. Me and him, common. It was crazy. So, like, what's the benefit of going? Is it different studios have different setups? Different settings. Oh. You know, like, we like to, like, we like to believe that we're, we're superheroes, and we are. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, you know how, like, you know, it might be like a 007 movie or the Avengers or, so, or something like that. My favorite action hero is Tony Stark. Ooh. That's my, like, if I ever met him, it's over. Like, you know, when I, like, my next studio or whatever, or my next car, like, I want him to design something in it. Like, you know, like, That's I love hard. him like that. Like, That's hard. For real, Robert Tony, Downey if you're listening. The word is born, man. Hey, I love you, man. For <laughs> real. Like, woo. So, um, they go out and save the world. You know, yeah. like, they don't save the world in their home. Mm -hmm. They go out. They go out and do it. They go out and complete the, um, complete the missions. And they go to London. They might go to... Africa, they might go to Paris, they might go to Australia, they might go anywhere right. and like set up shop, make it a setting, make it crazy, and you know, they, they, they go and deliver. Like so that. like, you know, when Kanye's like, yo man, I, I want you to come with me to Hawaii, I'm going to Hawaii. Of course. Like, he, he's from Chicago, he lived in Jersey a little bit too. It's like, but we get to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, where? Black excellence. We wanna, come on, man, exactly. So like, it just makes the trip even better it makes the music better just makes everything better so it's like yeah because you're on a vibe like yeah, you're on the energy exactly exactly so yes yeah, it's, it's it's a beautiful thing even, I love it. even with drake you know pro, uh flying private and and riding on the plane landing going to the studio doing a show getting back on the plane you know flying private again going back landing going back to the studio the lifestyle it's amazing it's like how do you remain humble after all that i was gonna say like people <laughs> people ne never forgetting where you come from exactly, because because niggas exactly. like people you know they'll say things like you know somebody you know say like you know i might go might go, go to dinner or something and, and like you know a waitress or a waiter is not talking to me the right way or something mm -hmm. It's like people, I heard people say, yo, you know who I am? You know what right. I've done? Why? Why do they do that? Do Especially in I, Hollywood, y'all. Do you know who I am? Exactly. Oh, don't let a girl turn you down. It's really over. Like, they, they really talking. What? I sold this. I sold that. I've been this. I've been. My like, outfit costs this. Yeah, I'm like, man, what everything I got on right now, Supreme. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean, I got a crazy watch on. Like, like bro, like, bro, like, Pipe what's down. that got to do with, what's, what's, what's that got to do with? And Amy. your character. Your integrity, mm -hmm. like you as a person, mm -hmm. some with your heart. How's mm -hmm. your heart, mama? Mm -hmm. How's your heart? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure you look good on the inside, right. too. It, right? Please do, yeah. because yeah. I I love to look at someone beautiful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's, mm -hmm. that's, that's like one of the most beautiful things to lay, lay, lay eyes on. Mm -hmm. but, but what's more beautiful than that is what's on the inside. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, a word, a proverb. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we talking about, you know, positive things mm -hmm. so it is mental health awareness month 
-hmm. And so I just want to know, like, when was a very low point in your life? Can you think that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, even... And how you got through it. Okay. It's it's so many, but, like, the the key is to get past it. You know, we get past it, then we're good. It's like, but obstacles and and things like that will come your way. You know, you just got to just roll with the punches best way you know how. I mean, that's why God is so... Uh, he's so, uh, his foundation in my life is like, it's incredible mm-hmm. because I've been through some stuff where like it could have, could have killed, could have killed me. It really? You know, I could have, I could have, you know, committed suicide or I could have like went, went that, went, went down a, you know, a demon route. It's like, man, just, just pray about it. I know it's tough, but even if you got to break it down, not day by day, but minute by minute, just as long as you're moving in the right direction yeah. to to free yourself from that, however long it takes. I still think about my father and how it affects me. And it's been like 10 years, 11 years now, but it's like, some people might be like, man, it was 10 years ago, bro. Like, you know, get over it. Like, you know, it's happened, I deal with it. Nah, because I could see my life was standing like this. Mm -hmm. My life is going crazy every single day. Like, you know, I'm in the best, I'm at the best self, version of myself I've ever been. I feel like in my entire life, and I wish that I could call my my father and be like, yo. Oh, he sees it all. Man, I know. I lost my father too. Are you serious? Yeah, when I was two. So that's the difference is that I wasn't old enough to really know, Mm. but still that what if, that same thought process, it just sucks. Yeah, right. He'll be so proud of you right now. Just like I know my father will be so proud of me too because we we broke the mold for our family. I don't know about you, but you probably it's probably the same thing. But you know, I'm the first, um, I'm the I'm, I'm the first millionaire in my family. You know what I'm saying? And and it's and it's not even like this is this is not to, to boast or nothing. Like I right. have to say that, but it's like I just want people to know that it's very possible. And yep. with all things, with God, all things are for sure possible. You know. Like what the enemy tried to do for evil, mm-hmm. God turned around and made it for good. Making your footstool. Hey, listen, okay. man, I'm trying to let you know something. Ah. I'll give you my cash app later if you want to tip some money. Right, right. Tip your brother. <laughs> my birthday in a couple of weeks. You know Pass around the, yeah, the, the, the on, tray. Man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? A little offering plate. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that's a testimony, yeah. you guys. Yeah. You know, because it doesn't matter how what level of success you achieve, you still have emotions. You still go through things. And you don't know what people are going through. Yeah, so be yeah. kind. Be, be kind. Humble. Yeah, be kind and be respectful. You know, always be humble and never know who's going through anything. And people ain't saying nothing nowadays. Like, they're going to keep it in, in like, to themselves mm-hmm. because, you know, trust issues or whatever. It's right. like, you know, like even, even in relationships and all of that. Like, you know, getting to a point where you can confide in someone and trust them that they ain't going to go out and start your business. So you've survived Hot Topics. All right, cool. Flying colors. Woo! I didn't even break a sweat. It was kind of hot in here. I didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, I, I felt the heat though. <laughs> yes. I still feel it a little bit, but it's all good. <laughs> all right, so you guys, it's time for classes in session. Mm-hmm. So this is where, you know, we go a little bit more in depth with the answers. He's out the hot seat. Now it's time to just learn from him and see what he has to offer. So, okay. um, you know, in all the different areas in music that you're involved in, what gets you in that creative space? Just waking up and being able to do what I love. It's like, man, there's no pressure with what I gotta do. It's not a nine yeah. to five, it's, it's a 24, 24 eight. Yeah, like, you, know yes. yes. like, you know, so I'm just inspired off of life itself. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, wake up, pray, you know, work out, go to the studio and just, just make beats, don't even think about it. Just just keep, so it just, just flows like that. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. You yeah. guys, if you follow him, yeah. um, give him your, your Instagram name. Oh, uh, my quick. Instagram, uh, my handle was uh, at they call me camper. They call me camper. Yes. On your Instagram, you go live a lot. Mm-hmm. And that's where you, you know, you're just vibing and creating and you come up with something so quick. I've actually seen it mm-hmm. with my own two eyes. That's beautiful. And I, it's gorgeous, I'm so okay? <laughs> so yeah. I'm just like, that just happens naturally whenever you want to tap in. Yeah, exactly. Any, every time, any and every time. Like, like people be having like uh, block, writer's block and stuff yes. like that. It's like uh, I, I, I don't have, I, I don't have. Man, what? 
I got a piano in my spot too, a grand piano. So it's like I go right in my live room and if I if I ever felt that way, I just begin to just start playing. You can never have writer's block when you're playing. Like, I mean, not for a musician, no. True. You can just, you can, man, it's, it's endless. Wow, so that's a tip. So if you guys want to start somewhere, I would start with pick any yeah. instrument or do yeah. you think piano any is the key? Like whatever y'all good at. Like if, if it's you know, if it's the bass, right. if, it's, if it's guitar, if it's just drums, catching the rhythm, catching the beat. Oh yeah, it's piano. I mean, for me, I'm biased. And I've been playing all my life. <laughs> organs too. Organs, piano, wow. roads. I got all of that, and it's wow. crazy because, like, take it from me, please, because you're looking at someone that didn't even like playing piano when I was young. What? Who got you into it? My grandmother and my dad. Wow. Wow. They made me every Monday. I oh, mean, like, proud. after the oh after gosh. the after the after the uh, after school, you know, the bus pulled up to the crib. Boom. Here come my mom, uh, my, uh, my grandmother, right there. There she, right there in her little- Get inside. Her little white, little Chrysler Plymouth, or whatever it was back then, it was crazy, little putt-putt. Right. Taking me right to Pleasantville, right to the, uh, right to Mother Grace every Monday. And I'm like, man, I don't wanna do that. I was crying. I was hiding my books and everything. I'm like, I ain't doing this. Now look. Now look! <laughs> <laughs> How many of your artists have been nominated for Grammys? Do you know um, the number? Majority of all, majority of the artists that I work with, they either had a Grammy before I, before I came in the picture, mm -hmm. um, but every time I work with someone, majority of the time they're either Grammy nominated mm -hmm. or they win. How, how come like the songs that you actually work with these artists on, they actually are the hottest songs that the artists have? I almost said something real cocky. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I, like this lack of better words, <laughs> it's just the fact that we just catch a vibe and like the vibe is a match. Yes. It's a match. It's like I know what I I know what I come here to do. Like yes. you know, people I look up to on like they're they're great. They're so great. Like. Jay Dilla, um, which is one of, one, of, one of my other favorite producers, him and Ye, and then Kobe, of course. Mm -hmm. Like people like that, it's like, man, like they were just destined for greatness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I strive to be like, Tony Stark. Oh, it's already, it's already yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So already. I know I have a lot more work to do and I'm looking forward to all the work. I'm looking forward to the lows, mm -hmm. the, the, the ups, the highs, everything, like the haters, the the, the supporters, the lovers. Bring it all on. Come on, man, Come because on, you're gonna put it all in all in the pot, we're gonna stir it up, and that's gonna be the recipe to up. success and to yes. black excellence. And then I'm gonna pass it on down to my son and he's gonna do it for his son. Yes. Uh, you know? Yes. Till God call us home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna, woo, I'm talking right now. How has the pandemic affected the music industry as a whole? as well as you and your health, you know? You know, it was cool because I got to see my family. I was chilling with them the first, at the first year of it. And you know, it was cool being around them. Um, just for like a lot of artists though, like touring and shows and stuff, you know, got, got postponed and all yeah. of that. And that's crazy because like, that's where a lot of these artists get their money from and they get lots and lots and lots of money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just touring and doing these big old tour, they be having the whole year set up. Like, I know. Sometimes people, they, they, they tour the whole year. Yeah. Know? I mean, I can't wait to tour, but yeah. you know, I was in the studio too, and I was making money that way. Yes. And you know, I just, I bossed up, got a spot, um, been working on all these artists and albums and projects and things like that. And, the work is there and the work is consistent, consistently flowing and you know, it's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, it really hasn't affected me like that. And honestly, it kind of kind of put me in position, to be real. So, so yes, it's all good. You, so for you, it was a blessing. Mm -hmm. For others, it was like they just had to refocus. Yeah. You know, it's not about touring, now it's about streaming. Yeah. Now it's about things like that. So you just mentioned you have a new spot. Mm -hmm. So you have a new studio mm -hmm. coming, right? And mm -hmm. so is that is that open to the public or not public or is it just your artist that you're working with? Yeah, it's just for I mean it's just for the people that know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's private, but you know, it's it's, it's definitely it's definitely for the, the artist that I'm already working with currently, who, who I want to work with. Yes, you know, yes, like my, there you go. And like my personal family, my personal friends. Nice. So yeah, you know, it's cool. And so is there an artist that you want to work with that you haven't already? I haven't worked with so many, but what comes to mind right now is just the queen herself. 
Erica Badu. Ooh! I want to give it her so bad. I want to give it her so bad. And it's possible. Okay, and so what's up next for you? You released some solo singles, right? But not an EP yet. Not an EP yet. Why? Thinking about dropping. Thinking about dropping a present to the world on my birthday. <gasps> Just something to hold you over until my, until my album comes. I dare you. If y'all think I should do that, then y'all know. Let me know. DM I me, all you. of that. Yeah. So I this is so. gonna be a hot summer. It's gonna be, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna what? be a hot summer. It's gonna be a hot summer. It's gonna. It's gonna be. You ready? It's gonna be a real oh, summer. you I've ready? ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I've, all I've been doing has been stacking, 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 stacking. Yep. So you know when it's time to go, you know. I'm ready to go. Wow. Well, anything else coming up next that you want the people to know? I mean, you know, just 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 get familiar with my face. Both of our faces, actually, because we're going to be around for a minute. Yes, a very long time. Very, 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 very. <laughs> and you're going to see us over and over and over, over and over and over. And over. Your over. dreams, man. And over 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 again. <laughs> Camper. Oh. oh my gosh. So give everybody your Instagram again. Yes. Ways um, to look you up and contact you. They call me Camper is my Instagram handle. Um, you know, hit me there. I hit you back. I appreciate the love. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the time. And look up for his lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on my lives. It'd be like 20, 30 people sometimes, like 100. But like whoever else, like the millions out there, man, they are asleep. Yeah. They are asleep. Yeah. So catch me, catch me while I'm free. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank and you for having me. Much success. Likewise.